Hello everyone, welcome to Business Core Tutoring. I'm Devin Coombs, and today I will cover question seven regarding our series on statistics. Let's begin. The long run average of a random variable is A, the expected value, B, the coefficient of determination, C, the standard deviation, D, the mode, or E, none of the above. All this question is asking is what are the definitions to these terms and then to know which definition is associated with this statement. Uh, so let's just go into the definitions. So an expected value is a predicted value. I'm going to cover how to find a predicted value or the expected value in the next slide. Uh, B, the coefficient of determination is just a measure of variance on an expected outcome. We see this by the R square. Uh, so we're going to get into that, but this is just correlation. So we'll get into correlation later, but that's just the basic, de the basic the definition. So. Um, just remember your definitions here. Uh, but R squared is very important when we're concerned with correlation and predicting outcomes, but it is not the expected value. The standard deviation uh, is a number used to indicate this disbursement of a set of numbers. So we've covered this in previous questions, but standard deviation uh, will tell you how far off or the average distance from the mean. So again, this would not be the long run average of a random variable. Um, D, the mode, this is the most frequently occurring number in a set of numbers. So again, this is not the long run average, even though it is a type of average. So it's important to know your definitions here to get this answer correct. I want to talk about what an expected value is really quick because this is really important. We use it a lot in almost every aspect of business. It's a great way to calculate out, uh, calculate any kind of cost or just to figure out what we're expecting to pay. So it's basically odds uh, or weighted values. So I just wrote out this quick little question. So let's say we most candy, candy have has a 40% chance of costing $1, 50% chance of costing $5, and 10% chance of costing $10. So if we take the weighted value of all of these by multiplying it out, so 40% times 1, 50% times 5, or 10% times 10, which I do right here, 40% times 1, 50% uh, times 5, and 10% times 10, we can find out what our expected value is for purchasing any candy uh, in this population of candies. So uh, we multiply that out and we'd get 40 cents, $2.50, and $1. Add that all up, you get $3.90. That would be our expected value if we randomly purchased any candy. Uh, so in the long run, an average uh, of a random variable will be its expected value. So in this video, we covered how to calculate expected value and some of these uh, terms and their definitions. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to write in the comments below or on my Twitter account. Uh, please subscribe to this channel if you want more information like this, and have a wonderful day.